How y'all doing? How y'all doing? It is Friday, baby. Y'all know the routine. It's Beer and Bud Friday. I hope you got the beer on ice, the bud in the bowl. Everybody's cooking up, ready for a fine and fantastic weekend. And we have reason to enjoy our nice cold beer today. Let me catch up with y'all. I'm sure y'all already got started. Uh, this beer is brought to you by Jorge Tire Biter. That was a beautiful tire biter ranch up in Burnett, Texas. Conveniently located five miles at the end of a dirt road out of town. Woo! A nice do Dos Equis. And baby, it is hot down here in South Texas. I'm waiting on that first cold front. Mmm. That is good beer. Anyway, y'all know the other routine. Get the bud in the bowl. Of course, if you're so inclined. Spark that baby up, baby. It's Friday. We got lots to talk about. First off, I want to thank Dennis Evans. Dennis Evans from Cardiff by the Sea. He's a friend of our buddy Thomas Morgan out there. I'd love to sit between these two guys. He really sent me a nice donation. So, so Dennis, I appreciate that very much. It went directly into the fund to pay the post office box. So get that out of the way, and we appreciate terribly, buddy. Anyway, there's a lot going on, and it's changing by the minute. Every time I turn around, I got to add some shit onto my damn page here. It's clicking away. What's the latest news? <laughs> well, the latest news is Secretary Pompeo has been subpoenaed. That's right. The Secretary of State has been subpoenaed by Congress. They want to have a little talk with him. Well, my John, why would they want to talk to the Secretary of State? What's he got to do with all this shit? Well, in my book, he's one of the co-conspirators. That's what we got going on here. You know, we got this phone call that Donnie made to the president of the Ukraine. You know, congratulate him and give the opportunity for the Ukrainian president there to, to kiss up to Donnie's ass as much as he could to try to get the weapons they need to defend themselves from Russia. Now, mind you, ain't it pitiful that the man feels like he's got to kiss his butt just to get the things that our Congress had already approved, but that's another thing. It's not important in Donnie's world. Donnie decides who gets it and when they get it. And that's what Donnie was doing. Donnie was trying to get a little quid pro quo. Uh, look, well, you want these weapons here. Uh, well, you're going to have to do a little something here for me. You know, uh, I just want you to do me a favor. And that is to interfere in the elections of 2020. Just like the Russians. Are you shitting me? Yes, it's the same damn thing all over again, except this time, baby. This time, Donnie, Johnny pointed it out himself, baby. He let the transcript out there of what they wanted the transcript to look like. That's what we see. It's not the total transcript because it has to do with other things besides just the quid pro quo for some weapons here. Give me a little dirt on my opponent there. You know, Biden's, who's already been investigated and ain't found shit. But that doesn't matter because Donnie's, you know, Donnie's the conspiracy president, baby. He's, he cranks him out left and right. He pulls him out of his butt. Except this time when he pulled it out of his butt, he pulled out Attorney General Barr, Mike Pompeo, even, even Mike Pence. Mike Pence was in the room during this phone call. Now, you got to start thinking about this shit. So now you're looking at who the co-conspirators were in the cover-up. And I remind you, kids, that it was the cover-up of Watergate that got Nixon's ass removed. It wasn't the break-in. Ah, that could have handled that, but it was the cover-up, baby. It was the it was the attempt to obstruct justice is what got Nixon done. And it's going to happen again, baby, because Donnie's too stupid to understand that when he opens his mouth, people are actually listening to him. So we know Mike Pence is involved. If Mike Pence is involved in this, along with Attorney General Barr, Ross, the Commerce Secretary, what the hell is he doing in this shit? 
Who else? Uh, we got there, uh, we got Rudy Giuliani. Hey, the clown that says, hey, the State Department sent me to do this. Yeah, we're going to find out about that, Rudy. We have all these players in this conspiracy to hide the evidence of an injustice, of an abuse of presidential power, which evidently more than 12 people knew about. Hell, they're saying that even now, there was people in the White House talking about it a week before they got the IG report. Geez, somebody snitching on somebody in the White House there, baby? Somebody running over there telling telling uh, what's up over there? Yeah, who did that? Oh, yeah, it was Nunez. Yeah, Devin Nunez's cow. Anyway, we got the report, baby. And all these people knew that the words coming out of that man's mouth on that phone were a problem. So they had to conspire to remove them from the usual server they were on to a secret server that they had hit. What? 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 Wait a minute. A secret server? A se Wait a minute. Back up the bus. Wasn't it not long ago that the Republicans, when they are in grand pursuit of Hillary Clinton's emails, and the server declared, declared on the House floor that to have a secret server is a criminal act. That's what the Republicans were saying. That's what they said then. So if it was true then, having a secret server with information that uh, you're trying to hide, well, that's a criminal act. That's what the Republicans said. And now we heard that, that, that Moscow, Moscow, baby, they're worried that other conversations with Putin might be released. Yeah, I bet your ass is worried. I bet you Donnie's ass is worried. Because if this conversation is on that server, well, there might be other server, other information, other calls that Donnie might have sucked up to or sold national secrets or made a deal with other foreign leaders. Maybe Slice and Dice got a little deal on that Khashoggi thing. Don't worry about it. We're going to take care of it. He's a mob boss, baby. He's nothing but a criminal con man, thief, liar, a piece of shit, which I have been calling him ever since it started, and now we see exactly that. That's what he is. A steaming pile of lying, stinking crap. And we have fought long and hard to remove his ass for the disgrace that he brings into our house every day. The lies that just continually spew and spew. Mm-mm-mm. It's a wild mess, baby. But they hid that they hid that transcript. The true transcript. The recording. Because they knew. They knew. It was a crime, baby. So now we're faced with what are we going to do? Well, I'm glad to see a good start as a subpoena for Pompeo because I think Barr needs one. I think Rudy Giuliani needs to get his makeup on, put his clown feet on, and get his laughing ass over there in front of the house too, baby. <clears throat> Let's get all these people. Let's get Mike Pence. He was in the room listening to the conversation. Let's subpoena the vice president. Get his ass in there, baby. And anybody else that was in that room when that phone call was made. And, and, and who gave the authority to move that information from the server it was normally stored on because they only remove, hide that stuff if it concerns, you know, military operations, covert operations, intelligence sources, if it has something to do with national security. But none of that is happening here. What we have is the president trying to weasel around the same way he did in Russia, baby. Let's make a deal. Let's get this guy, uh, uh, Biden. Yeah, get me some information on Biden. Get me some information on Hillary. Get me information on anybody. I've said it, the Republicans need to make a choice, baby. Country or Donnie. The Constitution or Donnie. Because who are you upholding here? 
a criminal thief? The cracks are already there. There are Republicans that are turned. And what do you ask them nowadays? Hey, what do you think about this call here with Donnie here with the uh, president of Ukraine there? What do you think there? Well, it wasn't good. Yeah, that's the best thing good in front of the clown that's watching them on TV. Well, it wasn't a good thing. I got to get out of here. See you later. It wasn't a good thing. Turning a blind eye when he knew that Russia was helping him win the election. That wasn't a good thing. Stealing money from our military to build a, a, a monument wall to his self isn't a good thing. Calling Nazis good people. Not a good thing, baby. We're faced every day with things that are not good that this president does, says, commands to be done, and those around him are complicit. Donnie stands up there and demands to know who, who talked to the whistleblowers, baby. By the end of this, Donnie, all of them are. All of them are going to turn into it. It's the only way out. Don't you understand? That's what brought these people to the Senate in Nixon's term. It's because they realized that Nixon was going down, baby. The sink, the ship is sinking. They're trying to save themselves. Go in front of the Senate and, and admit what they knew. It's the only way out, baby. You want to save your career? You want to save all that... That, that 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 nice service that you've given to your country? Yeah, well, then you better stick deep down and squeeze out that last ounce of patriotism that Donnie hasn't pissed on that's inside your soul and turn up, baby. Get with the program. The man's going down. He's going to sink this whole ship. And he'd, he'd blow a hole in this guy. He'd take us to war to try to get this shit out of his hair. Ain't going to happen, baby. gonna happen yeah you know, there's a story in there I seen I haven't read it yet but the headline was that the NRA knew the NRA the National Russian Alliance knew that the Russians were using them to get to Donnie with the money baby the NRA knew it you know when we start digging back through everything we've gone through every stinking story this is three years almost I started right here in this chair, baby. Didn't have a beard back then. I started right here, voicing my concern, baby. I was outraged the day he was elected because as most of us knew, because the popular vote told me so, most of us in this country knew what kind of man he was, and what he was capable of doing. And we were right, baby. So every one of you standing up in this fight, baby, take a little pride today because this fight, this fight, baby, that we've been in, we've been persistent, we've been consistent, we wanted results, and we're finally going to get them, baby. Hmm. Huh. Good cold beer. It's Friday, baby. I had a great meeting last night with our Blue Dot family. We're going to have another one Sunday night. I hope you come along to join us and join in the conversation. And uh, because uh, it, it, things are going to, they're going to flow very fast now. We're going to start seeing subpoenas fly. We're going to start seeing more, more people come in front of the house to give their story. And that's where it's going to all start falling apart. Somebody, a John Dean in Donnie's White House, is going to come forward and say, yes, there's a cancer. It's a disgusting cancer. It's a big, fat piece of cancer walking around the Oval Office. And it's malignant on the presidency. It's malignant on our way of living. It's malignant to our values, our Constitution, his crud. The Trump name that means it's synopsis with it's it, it's synonymous with Trump with shit, with crap, with lying, with cheating. That's all he's ever been known for. Russia's bailed his ass out. 
Saudi Arabia's bailed his ass out. Everybody's bailed his ass out all his life. His daddy bailed him out. His family has disgraced his ass. They're thieves. They're thieves in our house. Hey, what is it we used to do to guys to commit treason? You know, back in the old days, they used to commit treason. We had an answer for that. Get that disgusting man out of our house. It's the number one priority that we all have in our life. You got to make a living. You got to pay the bills. You got to cook dinner. But in the big picture, baby, he is the evilest thing this country has ever seen. He is the worst enemy this country has ever seen. And as guardians of liberty, baby, it's our job to do that. So stay after it. Stay informed. You're going to get a good chuckle out of most of what we see coming on. And it's going to be a disgrace to watch any Republican still hold on to this disgusting, disgusting, treasonous, traitorous, lying, draft-dodging coward piece of shit. Anyway, like, share, subscribe. John Bernabeu, Blue Dot in Texas. I want to thank all our Patreon members, those that support the show through PayPal and through the mail, and to send the, the donations and the gifts that warm our heart. We appreciate it so much. Dennis Evans, thank you very much, bub. We appreciate that. I wish I could sit there next to you and watch Thomas as he's painting. But he does that when I'm ranting, so. Ah, I just have to do a rant while he paints in the back. I love it. Anyway, John Brittivo on Facebook, John Brittivo on Liker. John Bredevo all over the damn place. On Twitter, at Blue Dot in Texas. Go by the family's page on, on Facebook. John Bredevo speaks, Blue Dot family. Join the family, get in the conversation, baby. It's growing every day, and it's getting more important every day that you involve. Meet a friend, get involved. Anyway, it's Friday, baby. Spark it up, get the beer. We'll see you all on Sunday night. Bye now.